What's up YouTube? This is Young H of Austin FC and um welcome to my channel. And during this video I'm gonna discuss like what I wanna do with the channel going forward and this is all over a weekend league recap, um this past weekend league. Um I wanna apologize though, I did um I did play my first six games off off camera, I forgot to hit record, but we are six and zero going into the video and let's get straight into it. Um this is our squad. We got lucky with a lot of the red player picks as you can see. Suarez, Ramos, Mbappe, very lucky. And our first opponent here, a nice squad. Constant theme though y'all are gonna see in this video was Suarez finishing up top. Any space he got, he was finishing it. That's a constant celebration y'all are gonna see from Mr. Suarez. Um, but as far as the channel goes, um. I definitely we're gonna do the weekendly recaps um during the week um i usually don't play foot i'm usually playing head-to-head -head seasons or pro clubs um so i might bring bring y'all some of that content um besides the weekendly recap though and look at ramos just falling flopping on the floor i don't know what he was doing there but neymar takes advantage and gets the goal right there but um I also want to maybe do a career mode, but um, the only thing that sucks is that we're not in the game yet, so I won't be able to be Austin FC, so I don't know how exciting that'll be with a random team that's not our team. That Austin FC logo, though, looks so sexy. I love it. And then um, I might also want to play um, with some of the viewers, some of the Austin FC fans, and look at this goal, Ronaldinho. I, I don't know how that happened, but... It's the weekend league. You'll take it. You'll take any goal you can get. Like I was saying, um, I want to play with some of the viewers. and um, We could do some 2v2 action. And I'll be able to interact with y'all, um, talk with y'all, play with y'all. And I think that'll be a lot of fun. Look at Suarez here. Near post, doing his thing. Um, I might even play some pro clubs on here. Um. We could maybe even start a Austin FC Pro Club team. That w I think that would be really fun and really interesting and just getting the some of y'all fans involved and doing good things there. And Suarez, like I said, he was finishing everything. Um, my opponent finally, we do finally get scored on right here. We get done in. But, um... Another thing um, I thought might might be kind of cool is if I uh, look at this goal right here, chip pass, a chip goal, a little bit of fish and chippy action to Mr. Neymar. This Cam Neymar was unbelievable this whole weekend. I could definitely feel the slight improvement over the left wing regular Neymar. But um, I also saw that um, in the five two win, this next game though was terrible. This is why I believe this is where we laid an egg. Yeah, this is where we laid an egg. And the thing is, he didn't even have an impressive squad. Um, we missed the the shot there, and that definitely changed the tide. If we would have scored that goal, who knows what would have happened. But we get hit on the counter like two or three times in this game. Bam, 2-0 right here. Yeah, we just, during the weekend, like, you don't want to lay no eggs. But this game, we definitely... Just took a fat L and laid a big egg. And our undefeated streak comes to an end at 8-1. and one. But I saw um, on Football Manager, um, I saw some files that we could be at, play as Austin FC. I think that'll be really cool to bring to the channel if we start a, a mode with Austin FC. And like we could see like if we could bring them to MLS glory. And this is a really close game, I believe, too. So definitely be on the lookout for all types of different content that we're going to be coming out with. And I think it'll be a lot of fun that y'all will enjoy Mr. Suarez putting it in the back of the net like he always does. Um, a little bit more about me, though. A little bit of introductory more about me is um, since I do play for Austin FC. Um, I started playing FIFA back in FIFA 2010 on FIFA 10. Um, in case y'all didn't hear the story before, 
It's that beautiful pass. What's he gonna do? Drag back. If in case y'all haven't heard the story, um, me and my cousin we used to play um, all types of sports video games growing up, from the NBA 2Ks to the Maddens to the NCAA's, and we were always competitive growing up. But um, as we got older, and my skill was going upper, and his was not rising to my level. He wasn't elevating his game. Um, I started constantly beating him. We had a very close win there with Henderson. I started beating him like literally on every game we had. Um, he was not coming close in any game. And then, but he would always tell me like at the end, like when I'm beating him in a game, that the one game I'll never beat him at is is FIFA because. I barely watched soccer and I didn't have the game and he watched soccer and he had the game so he, he said I didn't have the soccer mind to beat him. So um, we went, we downloaded the demo on the PS3 and I started just same thing like after I learned the controls I'm already beating him. It's, it was just another video game to me that I learned how to play really quickly and I started constantly beating him on the demo. And then he tells me that that doesn't count, that we have to get the real game to to see like who's better, and that gets us to gold at 11 wins. So he tells me that it's not the real game, it doesn't count, that I have to get the real game to see if I'm better than him. So we go, we get the real game, and now, now I'm starting to beat him on the real game, and it's the same old story, I'm beating him on the real game. And then eventually he goes home, he leaves and now I'm here stuck with a FIFA game FIFA 10 and look at this pass Suarez just he was just doing work all weekend shook him out of his boots to Ronaldinho so now I'm here stuck with this FIFA game and I was like okay I it's it was the demo was fun um, it was fun playing with my cousin so I'm gonna start playing this game now. Let's see if um, what I like about it. And I started a career mode with Manchester United, and and um, I believe I played played like the whole season in like one playthrough, like a whole just full season, like FA Cup and everything. It was like over 40 games we played. I played in like one sitting. It took me like 13, 14 hours, but I was hooked. Like I was hooked from there, from that career mode playthrough. And um, I believe I've played FIFA every day since then. So I want to thank my cousin for <laughs> telling me to download the demo and telling me to buy the game because without him, I probably might not be playing FIFA today. And ever since then, I've been playing FIFA every day. But look at Suarez, though, putting in work, getting us the rage quit. You always want to see the rage quits during the weekend league because there's so many games in so little time and with me I also have a full-time job on top of playing FIFA so some weekends I do work and I'll come home straight from work and try to get in as much games in that weekend league as possible as we play against Arthur FC here so if whenever I'm off on the weekend and it's it's a very easy weekend like we're able to get through the games at our own pace but if it's a weekend that I work man it gets kind of ugly like I'm like just dead at work the next day with like four look at that pass right there with like four or five hours of sleep but I wouldn't have it any other way um I love FIFA um I know a lot of people complain like about FIFA like the gameplay and it's not perfect but at the end of the day um I do love this game as that gets us to 14 wins um, but I'm definitely looking forward to starting this channel and seeing where it goes and bringing y'all more gameplay and letting y'all a little more into my life um, besides playing in the EMLS because look at that fancy footwork from Suarez because I am playing FIFA um, all throughout the week um, even if it is not ultimate team I'm playing some part of FIFA and then, like I said, there's other stuff that I want to probably bring to this channel. Definitely that 
Austin FC manager mode playthrough. And look at this pass as we are in extra time. I know if I get this goal, he's probably going to rage quit. Bam. I believe we get the rage quit. Suarez, you got to go celebrate with the boys after a goal like that. Is that a rage quit? Yep. It's going to be a rage quit any second now. Oh, he already rage quit. But yeah, it should be definitely very fun. Um, as far as weekend league goes, um, the bare minimum... Like they, the goal that you that I personally want to reach always is the 23 wins to get those elite rewards. Um, there have been weekends where I'm not able to finish all my games because, like I said, I do have a full time job, and depending on like how late I go in that day, um, there's just not enough time in the weekend for me to finish all the games. So, 23 wins is like essential, and I don't know how we let that was just a random goal, but. We had a random goal earlier, so you can't complain whenever it goes the other way. So not, so some weekends it is hard for me to finish all my games in, but so the bare minimum goal would be 23, and I'll be good with that. Um, but my personal goal every weekend when is definitely the elite one, which is 27 wins. So that's definitely a personal goal of mine. Um, you get the two elite reward packs, and that definitely during this team of the year type of season. Um, the team of the season so far packs um you're definitely making a lot of money and this guy had a really really good squad and this is a really good game Kimmich though is doing work from the midfield all freaking weekend this man he definitely surprised me um he had a weird high he had a high low work rate so i don't know what to expect from him but i could definitely tell because he was getting in the attack all weekend Neymar passing it around to the Suarez. Like I said, shaking and baking, getting them goals in. So, but this is part one of the weekend league recap. Um, I have part two up for y'all, um, hopefully pretty soon. And dang, 2-1. I believe that's how, what the game ends though, is at 2-1. But yeah, it's gonna be a fun time. Um, y'all are gonna get to know me a little more. I'm going to get to interact with y'all, and that gets us to 17-1. and 1. And I'll be back with part two, and have a good one.